breaking news, my wonderful people, it's happening. Court today, disgrace Tinubu Oyetola strikes out suit seeking to void Ademola Adelike's nomination. And the, you know, uh, there is no is the governor elect of, you know, uh, Oshun State as we speak. Um, Oyetola was defeated. That is uh, Tinubu's brother. And um, they've since not really got any hike of it. You know, um, we know that Aregbe Shola was one of those who was seriously against um, Tinubu's brother having a second tenor saying the man did not do well. That um, there is no need for him to continue. Tinubu fought him down and the guy won APC, you know, APC governorship election to contest for second tenor. Well, the election came and uh, like you all know, elections has been done and dusted. However, you know, uh, Oyetola has been shown the door. 29th of May is the day his boss is due to hand over. And um, Tinubu has been backing him up. They've taken him, to, they've taken Oyetola to court, um, taking uh, uh, Demola to court that um, he must, you know, he must not continue. However, this has not really come to be. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Court strikes out suit seeking to avoid Ademola Delicate's nomination as Oshun governor elect. Justice Obire of the Federal High Court Abuja has struck out a suit seeking nullification of the submission of the name of Ademola Jackson Adeleke as the governorship candidate of the People Democratic Party PDP in the last July 26 elections. The judge on Thursday strike down the suit on the ground that the plain the plaintiffs lack local stand to instill the case. The plaintiffs in the suit, Aro Yomi Oluwa Tayo, had dragged the Independent National Electoral Commission (INEC) and PDP Adeleke before the court seeking to void, set, aside the submission of Adeleke's name to INEC on grounds of alleged unlawful action. The grips of the complainant was that Adeleke's name was horridly submitted by INEC on March 11th as against between 14th to 18th as contained in INEC guideline. Adeleke's name having, been, having not been submitted within the period fixed by INEC, the plaintiff asked the court to declare the submission illegal, unlawful, non and void and set aside and says the election which just con which just concluded and declared him the winner, the second who is the who is Oyetola becomes the governor. Many have said this is what it is. And the truth is that the Tinubu guys are trying to use the PDP man to ensure that um, Adeliki do not become the governor of the state. He claimed that INEC must be bound by its official guideline and that anything done outside the guideline is against the provision of the Electoral Act 2022. However, in his judgment, Justice Obere struck out the suit on the ground that he said Aroyomi Oluwatayo lacked stance on the case he has instituted. The judge had, had also that the suit was bared of evidences and fixed outside the 14 days stipulated by section 285 of the 1999 constitution and no pre-election suit must be filed within 14 days whereas the suit was filed after 28 days this has put Oyetola, the governor of the current governor of the state who will be outgoing soon in a very difficult position thinking he would have had a field day well the the, the plan was that um they, you know, when they use the enemy of a man, it's of those of his own household. It is not a, what you told her that is doing this suto. No, it is a PDP man. Mm, PDP man said uh, that they did not submit the, the name when they should have submitted it. And uh, so as a result of that, the election that he won, uh, the should, should declare it that he did not win the election. Well, some quarters have it that um, Chinobu and his brother are trying to use the best of lawyers to bring up a case. However, they've been disgraced today again. You see, again and again, we can see exactly what is happening. And the time to arise, my wonderful people, is now. They've been disgraced again. Uh, Oshun state election has come and gone. 
yeah and um, the people the person who the people want has been you know has been voted for i want to believe that people should you know accept you know it's a game you win some you lose some yes accept it take it as a man and move on however this has not been the situation some wants to you know they've accused Arek Shola or they've accused everybody and anybody that they are the ones ah they are this they are that Oye Tola, you know, the former governor of the state, we will be soon, we are outgoing governor of the state, you know, has said that uh, they, they play trick on him, um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it is because uh, uh, his predecessor, uh, Rebbe Shola, uh, supported uh, Adele K. Blah. There is really no evidence to all these things, so they are all speculations, but you know that. We all know, okay, there's a clear cut definition that, you know, there is a rift between uh, Regbe Shola, okay, and Tinubu, Kotsi of Oyetola. So it is what it is. Uh, it's happening. But anyway, court today has said, well, uh, your, your case, eh, it lack merit, mm, not get substance. So that's the door, okay? Take it like a man, man up, and move on, okay? Uh, Adeleke has won, okay? Uh, you are a governor who only had opportunity for one tenor. So move on, okay? Uh, it, 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 the people are the ones to vote. And I really wish to God that, um, you know, this is what will happen in 2023. That Nigerians will vote for the candidate of their choice. Whoever Nigerians have decided to deem fit to say, you know what, such an individual we will vote for. I really wish to God that such an individual becomes, you know, the president of the nation so that we can truly, okay, have the best. Enough of all the uh, razzmatize. We need sincere leaders, true people who Nigerians believe can bring something fresh to the table and can really make Nigeria move forward. This is what we need, okay? This is what we need. This is what we desire. Not some persons who have no iota of truth, okay lying around and you know just causing all kinds of uh, problem in the name of uh, we want position however no 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 those things have to come to an end and uh, it has to come to an end we need to move forward as a people we need to move forward so it is what it is whether you like it or not the the the, the dial has been cast and the decision has been made anyway my wonderful people it's about time we, we ensure that the truth is being, you know, is being dispensed all over Nigeria. So at the end of the day, we can truly know and be confident that this is what we have made. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. Bye for now.